Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a site-wide border for your Squarespace website that looks like this. Now the codes are listed below, but let's hop on into my Squarespace website so I can show you how to install them. So here we are in my Squarespace site. And before we get started with the code, I just want to mention, I want you to notice that I have a border at the bottom of my website header right here. And I also want to mention that this code, we're using header and body for selectors, and those are universal for any version of Squarespace. So even if you're using an older version of Squarespace, this tutorial should still work for you. So this is the simple code we're going to be working with today. And I'm going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS because we want this site wide. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy this code and I'll paste it right here. And immediately we'll see a border added to my site. So let's break this code down. The first part of this border code in bold here is 30 px, and that means this border width is 30 pixels wide. I can change that to 10 px if I want to, or even all the way down to one if I want it to be super thin, or 50 if I want it to be huge. But be super careful if you make that too big, because this is also going to affect the mobile version of your site, and that could really reduce the amount of content visible on your mobile site. So be super careful there. If you want to add a border specifically to the mobile version of your site and change up that size, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash mobile for information on how to create a mobile specific code. So for the rest of this code here, the next option we have is solid. We can change that to dotted, for example. Uh, you could change it to dashed. There are lots of different border options there that you can use. I preferred solid. That's what I liked for the style that I'm going for here. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust this 50 back to 30 so it's not so gigantic. There we go. Now, after that, we have the color. Here I'm using my favorite hex color code, but you could use a web safe color name if you want to, like the word yellow, for example. There we go. Or maybe we want it to be blue. That'll create a solid blue, whatever color you'd like to go with. Now, the last part of this code says border bottom none for the header. And we've added that because this is a cascading style sheet. It reads things in order as it cascades. So at first the browser says, hey, I'm gonna give a border to all sides of the header. Just kidding, I'm not gonna give one to the bottom. If we remove that code, you'll notice I now have a giant blue border at the bottom of my header. That's not what I wanted. So I added header, border bottom, none. Now, if you want to learn more about creating custom border codes, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash borders. Here's where I have a tutorial that teaches you all about the different border styles and customizing each side and all kinds of fun stuff like that. But again, the basics of this code, we wanted this to apply to every page on our site. So we added it to design custom CSS, and it says take the header and the body of our website and give it a border that's this big in this style and this color, and make sure that the header doesn't have a bottom border. I'll select save and we'll consider this one good to go. And there you have it. Again, those codes are below along with a link to my training video that's all about borders. So if you wanna learn just a little bit more about creating unique styles or colors or different border effects, check out the related videos listed below. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you did and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new Squarespace tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.